For more on this, Fred Flights, Vice Chair at the America First Policy Institute Center for American Security and former National Security Council Chief of Staff joining us. Fred, you heard Christy Houlihan, Houlihan there saying, you know, this is bipartisan, the tensions with China, not only with respect to the concerns of China arming Russia in the war in Ukraine, but also Taiwan in the Indo-Pacific region. Your thoughts? Uh, Griff, it's great to be here. We're, we're seeing something remarkable under Kevin McCarthy's leadership as speaker. He's worked carefully with Hakeem Jeffries to make this bipartisan commission on the threat from the Chinese Communist Party truly bipartisan. And uh, I think the members are working together because they recognize the growing threat from China. I think this giant Chinese spy balloon that flew across the country had a lot to do with it. But under Nancy Pelosi's leadership, the, the, there was no commission like this. The Republicans pleaded for it over and over again. I think we have to hand it to Republicans and Democrats in the House for recognizing that this is a national security threat and we have to work together on, on a bipartisan basis. Now, we saw Secretary of State Antony Blinken over at the G20 this week in India meeting on the sidelines with Sergei Lavrov. And then, of course, Blinken saying publicly that he uh, is concerned about China possibly arming Russia, saying that there would be, quote, consequences for engaging in those actions. Was that a strong enough message? We've seen national security mishandled constantly from day one by this administration. This was the first meeting Blinken had with his counterpart since the Ukraine war began. I just think that's appalling. There's been very little contact between senior Biden and Russian and Chinese officials. I don't really know why. And I think this has caused a bad situation to get worse. Blinken supposedly is saying, well, look, we support a peace, peace talks or a peace agreement under an agreement that Zelensky put forward. That agreement is not viable. And this administration is not serious about peace talks. It's not serious about an end game for this conflict. We know the British, the French, the Germans, they're talking about this to Zelensky. Biden has to put forward a solid and realistic peace plan to end this conflict. Do you believe that the administration is being tough enough on China with respect specifically in the case of Taiwan? No, I, I think this administration has misunderstood the threat from China all along. It has played down China's responsibility for the origins of the COVID virus. And I think repeated demonstrations of Biden's weakness on the world stage has emboldened China and other U.S. enemies to try things they would not have tried under other circumstances. Uh, you know, we've had so many missed opportunities, uh, bungled meetings like this meeting in, in Anchorage, Alaska in early 2021 that Blinken was present at. I mean, I've said this before on Fox, Biden has to start over with a better national security team, with men and women with gravitas and experience to try to put forward real tough policies on Russia and China. What should, just in a nutshell, what would be the first thing you would change about the China policy? Well, the first thing is I'd get a new secretary of state, a new national security advisor. I think I'd have solid sanctions. I would demand that China give an explanation for the origins of the, of, of the COVID virus. I mean, I'm glad we're putting pressure on China not to provide weapons to Russia for Ukraine. I might add, I don't think China is about to do that. But we should be having regular dialogue and engagement with Chinese officials. And China is not a competitor. China is an adversary. We should stop treating them as a competitor that seems to be playing its own fair game. That's not what's going on here. China wants to oust the United States as a top power by any means necessary. This administration doesn't seem to understand that. Fred Flights, always appreciate your insights and thoughts. Fred, thank you. Good to be here. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.